Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about some more important and advanced concepts about OSGI service. In previous tu tutorial, I have already explained the basics of uh, OSGI service and how to write and call that service in Sling model as well as in other services or other backend component. So in this tutorial, uh, what I will cover when you have more than one implementation class of service interface, we'll see that scenario and how in that case, how that service will behave when you call that service, how that service will behave. Uh, we define the ranking of that service using uh, a new annotation called at the read service ranking and, and then we'll see how you can call that service uh, in sling model as well as the other services and we'll see the different use cases of how and which service will called uh, we'll see have a proper demo okay so let's see here this is the proper use case we have a service we are calling that service in sling model and then we are returning that response to sightly okay that that's a proper use case but the thing is when you have more than one implementation of that interface suppose multi services interface by writing class and we already have a implementation class a multi service a implementation but now uh, i wrote one more class that is implementing that multi service okay so the both classes have this method get name so when we call this service which service will call means which implementation class will call so you will understand here uh, if you do not define anything and you you have to implementation class in that case the old service will be referred means the service which have lesser service id so suppose i implemented uh, this class first so it have uh, you know service id lesser or lower than this so in that case this implementation will be called or this get name method suppose it has a get name method so this get name method will be called if we call this method uh, but suppose i want a particular implementation class to be invoked okay suppose uh, i want a method from the implementation class b to be invoked so in that case we can define ranking so we can define ranking using the service ranking annotations and whatever the service uh, you know ranking is at higher side that will be called so in that case this 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 implementation will be called means the get method of this class will called okay because it has the higher service rank so even if i change the service ranking of the upper one suppose i change it to three so in that case this will called okay that's the way okay so suppose in some scenarios let's consider a scenario i want a specific class to be called so if you give the service ranking so in that case every time this this implementation of this will call but suppose i want this also sometimes so sometimes i want this sometimes i want this to be you know called this this method method which is in a class and method which is in b class so either way i you know i want to need this method somewhere so in that case, uh, I will call these services using filter, right? So I use uh, I I use at the rate OSGI service annotation to call this class with a filter. I'll pass a you know parameter inside that uh, OSGI service with filter, and in that filter, I'll give the name whatever the name of this component. Don't worry, I'll show you. If you do not understand do not need to worry at end of the, this tutorial you will understand everything we will have a proper demo of this okay so now let's see the demo of all these three uh, concepts uh, so this uh, multi-service i have interface which has one method get name and i have two implementation class a is which which is returning just a simple it is implementing that method and just returning the name of it this is hard coded i'm returning it and in the same way in the other implementation class I'm returning the same name just a name so rest of the things are same I have already explained this components and all annotations okay so when and uh, I'm calling this in this sling model just to show you the change what is returning and this is my uh, site link just simple I'm calling this method that's it okay inside that sling model I'm calling this service multi-service which is obviously a interface and that's from that I'm calling that method so when I call this method inside sling model so it it has two implementation I can be written from this class B implementation or a implementation so 
let's see this okay so if you see now it, it is returning implementation a that means it's calling a method of a implementation class which is old so as i told you if you do not define anything it always call the older one older one class that means which has less service id so let let's see where you can see that service id okay just go to the console system console and go to a bundle open this bundle and you will see the service ids here so see uh, my this multi service a implementation has a service id 9150 and multi service 2 b implementation has a service id uh, 9152 so because this is a lesser one so it is being called okay let me show you so you will be seeing here this one and this one this has 9150 and this one has 9152 so that's why this is being called a is being called now as i told you in second concept if we want to execute or call any specific class so we'll add ranking service ranking and this is a uh, integer you can pass an integer value to it so i'm adding uh, this thousand to this a and thousand one to b you can define any number i'm just showing the nearest number so that at least you can see the difference okay so now it has higher service ranking B. So now if I call that uh, service, so this implementation, this class will be called or this method will be called. So it will return multi-service B implementation. So now you will see here, now it is getting that B method means implementation B class because I define a service ranking which is higher than which has a higher service ranking that will be called okay but now as i told you in the third concept suppose you want any specific class in this case every time the higher ranking class will be called right whatever the service ranking is higher that will be called every time but i want sometimes i want a, a implementation class a or sometimes i want implementation class b so in that case what you have to do you have to define filter while calling that service you have to define which service you want so for that uh, you do not need to change anything inside service now you have to define that while calling that service right where you call this osgi service so in this you have to define filter so you will be defining a filter and the component name let me zoom it a bit right the component name this is basically this name is a property of a component annotation and the value is you can define this value you can, basically this is the path of your service this is the default value you can define this name property inside your co uh, component annotation as well okay so let me first build it and let me show you so let, let's change it to a because b always have a higher service ranking so it will always call so let me change it to a let's call a so now this the a implementation a implementation class should be called okay let me build it so now you will see it it returning a means the a implement multi service a implementation class has been called irrespective of the service ranking so now from the calling side you are defining which implementation you need to call okay so this one as i told you this is the default thing you can give the path till path means the package till that file but you can define it this is the default thing so what you can do go to the implementation class and you can define the name property here Right. inside name whatever you want you can give that so let's give service service a so you can define this thing as well there so either if you do not want to give anything you can simply keep while calling this package till the class name otherwise whatever the property you gave inside the name you can give there other ways as well you can call it but right now i'm explaining this only and that is enough for you so you will see after giving that name property this is being called okay so now let now 
let me show you right let me call both service at the same time okay so you see i'm calling the same service twice with a different uh, with this uh, here i'm calling the service a what i define inside this name and second i'm calling uh, which i have already explained you with the path in the package okay the same way you will see i'm returning both this is for the first one and this is for second okay. and the same way i change this i did one more line so let's see so ideally now what should happen in that case first it should return the first it should call the first implementation of that service and then this should return the second means the implementation service service b implementation okay. let me build it uh, so I did additional this is not correct so let me remove it why it was not working let me build it again so you will see here from the first it will uh, calling the implementation one class and then implementation B as I define here so now you will see how this is the way you can call in the sling uh, model now let's see how you can call this this setup in a different backend component like in other services scheduler servlets and all so let's take example you are calling this service in another service so how you can call you know you have to use at the rate reference but at the rate reference you have to define target means you have to call at the rate reference with target right in sling model we use osgi service okay so let's see by target by passing target you can define which implementation you want to call it okay default behavior is same which has the old service means which has the lower service id that will be called if you do not add anything okay okay so let's see this i have a de service demo service b implementation i have already used it earlier as well so i will define uh, this reference and inside reference i define a target and inside target i have to define the same way component dot name either you can define by your own or you can you know uh, give the path means the package okay and what i'm returning here i'm just prepending a string which is coming from that service okay so whatever come from here so it will say response coming from the service name whatever is there okay and let me change something in slightly as well so that you can see so if you see here i define this is coming from my original service and this this prepared is added from my new service so this way you can call this kind of services in other backend component one more thing you have to take care of it if you define inside this service suppose you define the name variable then you have to use the name whatever you define here if you do not define here then you can use right then you can use this thing means the package till the class path so that way uh, i hope you understood this this is important concept for your certification exam and sometimes this is being asked in interviews questions so ideally uh, you should not do this in one implementation class means if you are writing a service you always should have one interface and one implementation class ideally but in some scenario if you do not avoid this you cannot avoid this then this is the way of handling this kind of scenarios I hope you understood. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, any doubt, please do comment. Thank you.